What is up guys, in this video we will learn to fetch JSON array objects using Android Volley from a web server. So first let's set up the server side. Open any code editor you like and create a new file. Save this file as server file.php and let's write the PHP script. Create an array object. This array object will hold names and ages of a few people. Array name will be uh, John and John's age will be 42. And the next person is named as John's son. And then John's son's age will be 18 years old. Lastly, we can echo the JSON form of this array. JSON encode dollar array. Now let's start our Apache server. Click on start. Go to the services tab and start Apache. Go to the networks tab and enable 8080 to 80 port forwarding. Go to volumes and mount the volume. Now open the htdocs folder and paste the server file in here. Now open your terminal and go to the folder where ngrock is stored. And again, if you don't know what ngrock is, then I'll put a link in the description box. Go check it out. It's a uh, really cool. Okay, so we have our server side set up. Now we can go to the Android part. Go to the dependencies and add the dependency of Android Volley. Go to the manifests file and add permission internet. And in the application tag, set uses clear text traffic to true if you are going to run this app on Android Pi. Now you can hit sync now. Now go to activity main.xml file and add a text view. Set width and height to wrap content. Give this an ID text view. Center in parent will be true. Text size will be 22 SP. Now go to mainactivity.java file and create an object of request queue. Instantiate this request queue by calling volley dot new request queue context this. Create an object of JSON array request. Call this JSON array request. And the first parameter that it takes is the path to the server file. In our case, it's the ngrock link slash server file.php. Next parameter is our response listener. And then last parameter is error listener. And we can add this JSON array request in our request queue. And now we can show the data of this JSON array in our text view. So create an object of text view and refer this to the text view element that we have in our activity main.xml file. Now go through each of the objects in our JSON array. Get the JSON object from the JSON array. Get JSON object index i. Surround it with try catch because it throws JSON exception. Now extract the name and age from this JSON object string name json object dot get string name and age json object dot get string age and we can show this data in our text view text view dot set text text view dot get text plus new line and then name and then we can show the age now we can run and test what we have created. Okay, so this thing works perfectly fine. And uh, 
If you like this video then give this a like and subscribe to the channel.